Greetings, you people, and hello, my king. How's it going? How's it being? This is Mariah Stone, bringing you more Sanctuary RPG Black Edition. Always defeated, never daunted. I am back once again to try what I just did again, over again, basically, and, and to not do what happened the last time, which is die at level 2, basically. I'm going to play, mm, we are, and we're going to do a new paladin, because we didn't even get a chance to see what the pal paladin could do. We have to try again. Alright, so let's go forward. We are a paladin and we are OP, as that says. Now I need to make my face. I'm going to make another male, and they're going to die. Medium build, character name is going to be, um, Spy Rocks. There we go. It's an old potato, that's good. Set defaults. Whoa, that's an awesome face. I don't like it. There we go. This guy here, he's he's got stars in his eyes. Because he's a joke. Fox. Hero. Stars. In his eyes. Okay, um, we're done. I, I'm, I'm finalized that. That's great. I am going to go back to the southern Syria, and we're going to be Huskyan again, okay? And this is what we're going to do. We're not going to make the mistake of doing Lunatic. And I'm not going to flip on the damn floor ever again. So let's see. Classic. No respawns. That's fine. We're not going to play the oh, the intro cinematic. We've already done that. So let's move on. Your name is Spyrox. You are a paladin of Huskian descent. You are a bug in your past life, which explains the extra toes. Raised by two grandmothers, you have a secret attraction to old ladies. <laughs> yeah. Um, you always regretted never going to clown school. A thing. One to enjoy intellectual pursuits. You read your shampoo bottles daily, especially when you're going to the bathroom. Just a minute ago, you got a wicked cramp in your leg and you fixed it with magnesium. Mm -hmm. You find yourself naked in high school, given a presentation on breasts. Out of nowhere, a woman in a banana suit hops towards you. You curl up in a little ball and pretend like you're a potato. This is your story. Okay. Hello, what the? You're alive? Why, yes, I am, actually. Why on earth are you naked? Here, have some of these items. Gate 16 is calling your name. Hurry, run. All right, what do I get this time? Something better? No, well, it's, it, 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 it's a mace. That's better than what we had last time. We had a dagger. Seriously, a dagger last time? That was just messed up. Okay, so we're going to equip it, of course. And we're going to go to gate 16. You guys ready? Of course you are. Let's go. We're going to defeat the blue slime, and this time we're just going to beat the crap out of it. No problem. The slime is guarding. It's taking reduced damage. Reposition yourself. This is the tutorial. Do I have to re-undo the tutorial every time? Mind is something for me to keep in mind. Pressing 1 or 2 should work. Um... Right, there we go, a reposition, so we got out of it, he's gonna goop me, and I'm gonna, oh, we have something else, we're gonna learn about the game apparently this time, it managed to wound you, that's not good, uh, we take heavy damage upon repositioning, so that means that we need to heal ourselves, right, heal ability, done, I have the ability to handle this, the slime is getting visibly enraged, it's splooshing all over us, us, me, her, me, us, okay, It'll charge much more often, and its attack power grows every turn. Here he comes now, he's getting ready to charge at you. Reposition to dodge his charge and reduce his enrage. Okay, that's good. So we're going to reposition, and we're done. Now we're going to roundhouse kick him in the face. Light jab, medium punch. Oh, we have something else happening. It's cursed us. This will slowly drain all of our meters. We don't like this, so what we're going to do is we're going to heal, and we'll call it good. Medium punch. Oh, we're wounded, so let's heal out of it. That's good. The slime has now ensnared you. You can't reposition or heal. Activate your break free ability. So we're just gonna muscle out of it. Done. Okay, jabbing. Heavy slam. We have something new. Um, it has exposed our genital, uh, our goods. Wait. Managed to... Oh. That's what I get for being naked while giving a presentation on breasts, I suppose. Being exposed will cause you to take 50% more damage from base and attack. Exposed is actually what that little orange thing is. It's probably a good thing that I did this. That's great. I know what that little orange thing is now. It's not a targeting thing. It's exposing. The, the, the slime is exposing me very, very slowly. Okay, reposition a few times to shake him off. Okay, that's good. You can always run if the situation ever gets too out of hand, which I probably should have done the last time when I was playing a lunatic difficulty because, well, I almost died in the first strike and then the second strike did me in. That is something to keep in mind. Final uppercut. It is going to try to get a... It has already. 
exposed my goods, so I'm gonna light jab, medium punch, and we're gonna reposition to get out of that. That's great. Heavy slam, final uppercut, and slide kick. Great. Heavy knee to a roundhouse kick, and we are being targeted again or exposed. Light jab, reposition out of it. All right, heel, slide, heavy knee, roundhouse kick. Is that what I'm gonna do? Swap your move set with a finisher. Let's do it. Boom. Nice slice for 351 damage. Great medium punch, follow up, heavy slam to a final uppercut. Critical with 386 damage, we are kicking ass or kicking slime, which is basically I'm exposed. I'm really exposed. Doesn't matter. It's just the um, it's just the tutorial. Anyway, we're done. Excellent job. We have a flail. Listen closely. My name is Dion. Something tells me you're not quite ready for the journey ahead. You're going to take quite a beating, so press R in between battles. This will heal you, but will consume one of your three heal charges. Charges replenish only upon leveling up, although you can purchase more. You'll gain bonus XP for consecutive battles without healing or resting. Great, take the grassy road to the north. The matron must be stopped at all costs. Good luck, Spyrox. That's a good amount of experience and a good amount of gold. I'm okay with this. Item drop. Give me something epic. Legendary right now. Boom! Okay, maybe not. Block is good though. We like shields. Shields are great. Equipping. Leveling up as well. And I'm gonna try the vitality trick again. Because, well, it didn't work last time. This disembodied voice will not teach you about weapons. Ooh, nice. Alright. However, all weapons will deal bonus damage. Okay, now here's the thing. This is what we're going for. We're going for flails, maces, that sort of thing. Mace or maul is what we're going for. So, extra damage equal to 15% of strength and 15% of int. So, if I raise strength and I raise intelligence, those are my primary attributes to increase my mace damage. That's something I really cannot forget. So, cannot crit, however, but it deals bonus damage, a percentage of bonus damage in my blunt mastery. So, if I put more points in my blunt mastery, I will do a percentage extra damage using that item. Makes sense. So, Mace Maul, 10% chance to daze. That's great. I think. Okay. Now then, let's go. Let's, mastery points left to assign. I have four of them. I'm going to put them in my Mace or Maul. Just crank her up. Crank her right up. We're good. Um. Right now, I'm at full health, so I don't need to heal. Grassy Fields, what could possibly go wrong? Okay. Hulth is buzzing towards you. Blinding enemies will obscure your moves. Is he a blind? Oh, wow. It's a good thing I have been uh, able to practice in the tutorial to know exactly what's about to go down. Uh-oh. It is blinding again. Ensnare me. Break free. There we go. I have blocked the attack as well. And I repositioned. I can now see. Mending slam. He's dead. Absolutely done. Alright, I took a little damage, but not much, mind you. 82 gold, 27 experience. I have annihilated the Holth. Leveling up. Vitality. Not that. And we're going to put more into my armor. And just for now, we'll, we'll, we'll work on the strength and the intelligence later. We want to be able to do more defending than offensive. However, it has been said the best defense is a great offense. I subscribe to that theory a lot. In this, though, I have found it better to just be able to survive the damn hit. Alright, so, investigate. What do we have? Walk towards the burly figure up ahead. Do we want to do that? I don't suppose we really have too much of a choice. Let's go. It's a burly figure. Hey there, welcome to West Haven. The name's Blacksmith. Alright, I'll let you in on a little secret. Metal hurts when you hit something with it. If you ever X or 8 in the background, if you ever see it, press the corresponding key. That's good to know. This will allow you to visit secret areas tucked away in the environment. Now let me show you this ridiculously long scroll to unlock your ultimate. Important. You are about to be shown a very important wall of text. Your two ultimate attacks can interrupt charging enemies. You can always interrupt charging enemies with an ultimate. That's awesome. To activate this powerful attack, your ult meter has to be charged. After two sets of the four attacks, your ult meter will light up green. If the bar looks like this, you're good to go. Okay, so as long as it's green and... Well, basically, as long as it's green, I guess four is when it's charged up completely. Is that what I'm understanding? I don't think so. The number inside your ult meter is your combo count. Ah, that's what it is. There's the number. It's explaining it to me. So, number four is the combo count. If you string together a chain of attacks, your rage meter increases. Upon five stacks, your rage meter will turn blue. Mmm, this is your rage ult. Loads of damage, restores MP, and breaks guards. Both meters will persist between battles. 
Use this to your advantage, performing long combos before ult will massively increase your ult damage. Long combos, wrong then. Sorry for the wall of text, just thought you need to know a few of these things. I see you're carrying a fierce looking mace. As a blunt weapon, it deals additional bonus damage but cannot crit. If you'd like to learn more, consult the game manual on the character page. One more thing. You can type question mark during combat to view enemy affixes. Hmm. I'm so sorry for breaking the fourth wall. It won't happen again. Be careful of the terminal. It's guarding that gate leading to the camp. So be careful of the terminal. We need to level up before we go visit the terminal. You have unlocked two new abilities. Ultimate and Feral Ultimate, which I think is our ultimate ultimate. Our rage ultimate, as it were. As a paladin, your Feral Lash temporarily gives you infinite mana. Ooh. Okay, you guys ready to get on with this? Gate 17, I do not want to visit yet. I'm way too young in level. I could go visit the blacksmith right now. See what else he has to say. Ah, say nothing. I can do things. Okay, activate a mission. What do you want to give me as a mission? I've been looking for one palladium. Please let me know if you have some. I don't like to go outside much, so I'm stuck here. So I need some palladium, which I do not have right now. View item or view item. Premium item. Let's look at the premium item. Alright, this is a polearm. It would replace my mace, which I'm putting a lot of... A lot of... Uh, a lot of abilities into. Um, you know what? Currently, right now, regardless, this is a better weapon. I am... Wait, purchase price. Current gold. I don't have enough to actually buy this anyway, so no thanks. This one looks terrible. I support your decision. Alright, view item or 22 view premium item. Do I just go for the regular item? If I go for a regular item, do I not have to pay for it? I remember at one point, first time you meet the blacksmith, there's an item that you don't have to pay for and you can just grab. It happens to be awesome. Kudos. If it doesn't, you just bypass it, whatever. So this is what? This is a wand. I, 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 I don't want it. Although it is cheaper, I don't want it. No, thank you. I'll figure out something. I'm a giant. I'm not going to wield a wand. Alright, view item. Hey, that's a staff. Walking stick. Right. Um, I'm a giant. I would I would use a walking stick, right? That's also very expensive. Okay, I could just make stuff. I could just make stuff later, right? Do I want that? Oh, I'm gonna be hampering myself if I don't buy this, aren't I? Alright, I'm gonna purchase this one. I'm gonna purchase it. I have... Obtained wood splint crafting material and item purchased, and I am going to put it on, I think. Um, T to talk, Q to quest, R to imbue, imbue, that's new. Mercenaries, what's mercenaries? Dismiss all others, what is this, what is this? Mercenaries will take refuge at the blacksmith's forge. During combat, mercenaries will assist you dealing bonus damage. Every turn, one gold will be deducted from your inventory, so you can pay for help. That's awesome. Remember to always dismiss mercenaries if they're too inept. More advanced mercenaries will join you later and make room for them. I don't have anybody to invite right now, but that's great. Okay, great. New stuff all the time. This is why we continue playing this game, because there's new stuff all the time. Okay, so now what? We're going to go back into the fields, I think, and we're going to do some more leveling, as it were. Alright, noxious enemies will poison you more often, so I'm a... It's not just Hulk. It's a noxious... It's obnoxious. All right, so let's see. We're going to... We're at full health, aren't we? Yes, we... Well, not quite. Almost. I have been cut. That's not fun. All right, we're going to bash. And did I actually put on my awesome staff? My walking stick? I don't think I did. In fact, I know I didn't. Unless, of course, it just auto-upgrades to the better weapon, which I don't think it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. Anyway, Smite Flurry. We're going to continue on with our attacks. Hawk was... No, the Hawk hit me for 51 damage. It critical me. Not fun. Alright. It's starting to try to expose me. That's not fun. I am now also poisoned. I'm going to heal out of that. Great. Continue on the assault. I'm doing really well so far. Oh, wow. That was an incredible hit. 493 damage. Divine Rend. We're still doing well. Reckoning. And then one more strike should do it. Shield slam. Boom. Done. Perfect. I took minimal damage. I came out of that smelling like roses. Or smelling like a noxious hawk, basically. Because it got all over me. Um, let's see. Fields again. Let's move it. Uh-oh.
This is battle music, man. Skeleton is in the distance. Remember to floss your teeth before brushing. Or in this case, he has to floss everything. <laughs> because he's all teeth. You know, because they connect and, and never end. There's no gum line? Is that is that joke not funny? Alright, so anyway. Um, you ready your weapon, and I'm going to crush you. I'm absolutely just going to smash you to bits. You're dead. And I'm bleeding. I don't care. Alright, slaughter the skeleton. That's good. And let's do it again. Back into the fields we go. Why ever just spat fire in your face? That's not very friendly. Um, if I ever find myself ensnared, press 5 to break free. Am I ensnared? I am not. Now, technically, I could use Holy Wrath. I don't really have any combo points set into it. And it is about to expose me. This thing is about to expose me, so... Let's get a good whack on it. That's fine. And reposition. Recharging 40 MP, and I did not get out of it. There we go. Critical. Wyvern has bashed you for 27 damage. I am not really threatened by this currently. Bash me for 38 damage. I can reposition out of it. Gain that back, and we're going to shield slam, which is helpful. Lots of damage. He's not doing a lot of damage to me. Mending slam! And that was effective. 453 damage. Smite flurry. Grazed. I have hit the wyvern for only 120 damage. Continue on on the assault. Slash me for 39 damage. Final blast. Excellent damage. 496. And it's about to expose me again. So we are going to Divine Rend. And then we're going to reposition out of it. You are in position. Press Z to hit confirm or C to charge. Z? Z what? Z? Z or C? What's going on here? I'm in position, so I'm gonna charge it. You have charged and stomped on Wyvern for 328 damage. It is now trying to guard. Let's sidestep out of it, which I didn't have to do. I forgot that. I've been wounded. Let's heal myself out of it. It's preparing to charge. It is now charging towards me. Let's step out of the way. Wyvern has slowed me. I'm gonna continue the assault. Wyvern is winding up for a devastating pummel. Let's get out of that. Reposition myself. I've got my self in a more safe location. Final blast. I hit him for 499 damage, and I'm about to finish him off with a divine rin. Or not. Reckoning is at hand. He's still alive. Shield slam! There we go, we finished it. Wyvern has been annihilated. My walking stick is proving very, very effective. Right then. So we are, again, minimal damage, and we're doing really good. We got uh, 123 gold. That's great. 45 experience. We might have leveled up. I'm not sure. We're going to find out in just a few moments. We have now a normal dull fire piece. It's a charm. We don't have a charm currently, so I may as well put it on. Wisdom and intellect, plus a defense. Sure. Equip that. We did not level, unfortunately. Let's go again. One more fight. Hoth is looking up at the sky. Never pet a burning dog. That's a good idea. Uh, words of wisdom, that. Okay, Bash. Smite Flurry. I blocked his attack. I blocked this dog? Wolf's attack? I don't know what you would actually call it. Call it Hoth. Hoth. It's a dog monster. Anyway, only 120 damage. That's not very good. Divine Justice and a final blast. I am now actually poisoned, so I'm going to heal out of that. I had damaged it. I critted it for almost 500 damage. That's amazing. Divine Rend, Reckoning, and winding up for Breathtaking Pummel. I am going to reposition out of it. Now he's trying to charge. Reposition out of that. It's hit me for 45 damage, but that is not. The Trample. I am going to charge it this time. You have missed your charged. Resetting your combo. That is unfortunate. Smite Flurry. Let's continue going on. I've blocked two of his, two of his attacks in a row. Um, 33 damage, that's minimal. I will final blast and finish it. Done. Alright, minimal damage again. I've got 67 gold, 34 experience, and there is a follow-up enemy. What is this, Tekken Tag? Skeleton is looking up at the sky. Druids are adept at soaking up damage. Druids are adept at soaking up damage. I have to remember that. I have to play a druid, I think, at one point. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, what is he doing? Anything? Um, a skeleton wants my head on a spike. Well, that didn't really go that well for the skeleton, did it? No, indeed. Um, squashed the skeleton, in fact. Uh, 11 gold and 14 experience. That is a level up. I think I had the level up before that last fight anyway. But anyway, let's do it. Vitality. Continuing on with the vitality, and we are going to put on more armor, I think. Mm. 
like so. And um, do we want to put something into the pole arm or the st no? It's a staff. That's what I'm carrying right now. Right? Walking stick is a staff. Dex and wisdom. Uh, do I want to do that? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna continue going into my mall theory. I'm gonna completely max out my mall. It seems short-sighted, but in the long run, it's amazing. Or oh, did no? That's not what I meant. I'm long-sighted. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking to the future. The future events. I'm not gonna die before the future events come to me. Right? Right? Okay. Uh, what what level are we? Character-wise, we are level four. That's not quite what I want to be. I, I want to level at least one more, I think. Although, if I go to gate 17 right now, I will be able to get maximum experience, I think, for this. Let's go! Let's go! We're ready. You ready? I'm ready. The terminal awaits you. It's beep, boop, beep, boop. I will terminate you. Alright then. Translocation meter. Lock on. This boss will attempt to lock on to you. If you reposition or run, the log meter will be diminished. If the boss locks on, a missile will be launched at your face. We do not want missiles launched at our face. I'm gathering. Okay, so, um, it's primed to kill. It's not... Oh, wait, its HP is hidden. It's a boss. Very well. So, let's see. Primed to kill, is he? Okay, 45... No, 46 damage and my 85 damage towards it. I'm okay currently. I see the L. It's trying to lock on to me. Hit me for 29. That's okay. I'm still fine. 124 damage versus this 29. I will final blast and continue on that. There's an LO on that lock now. I have hit the terminal for 502 damage. We're okay. Continue it on. He's trying to get to where he can expose me. I'm a giant. I can break through this guard. I do not have to reposition to get through. I have a 33% chance of breaking the guard. Will this actually work? It did not, and I need to reposition this time because he's gonna he's got a lock on me, so we can't have that. There we go. Now Mindane Slam. Okay. He's back to LOC for the lock. And I'm just gonna beat him down until the lock comes on again. There we go. I am going to reposition now. It's winding up, reposition again. I am recharged 40 MP. It's fashed me for 48. That's okay. I'm I'm still okay. So Divine Rend. Reckoning is at hand. Um, shield slam. What's happening? The terminal. Only one instance of master race detected. Lock on speed upgraded. Oh, that's not good. Lock on speed is... It knows I'm only one person, so it's easier to find me. Let's get out of that. Wind it up. Let's get out of that one as well. Um, we're going to reposition again to get the C off of there. The terminal is bashing me for 31 damage. We're okay. Mending slam. Uh, critical. It's hit me for 48. I'm not really that scared. 453 damage. I did to it. Final blast. I'll hit the terminal for 499. The terminal slashed you for 36, and I am certainly locked on. I'm gonna get hit. This is gonna hurt. I have been wounded with a missile. I have to heal out of that. So the missile wasn't really that bad. Let's break through that guard. It actually worked. I slammed it so hard the guard was gone. Mending slam. And is it trying to lock onto me again? The terminal is tripping around. Press X to grapple. Alright. Beep boop. My internal circuits are on fire. Woe is me. Right, it's it's actually ablaze. It's actually burning. It's burning. Okay, so I have max set. If you guys will notice right now, the little blue right up there with a the little five, that is my feral lash. That is my raging ultimate. I am going to unleash this bastard right now. What does it do? I almost killed it. I have pulverized the terminal for 1,559 damage. It is still burning. I have been wounded, like, grievously wounded by a missile. I can heal out of it, though. That's fine. I'm back to normal, and it is not. Let's bash it to death. However, it just gained health. How did that happen? Smite Flurry. It's imprisoned me. Break free. Still burning. And it is about to lock onto me again. I am going to final... Done. Critical, you have hit the terminal with 500 damage. We are set to go. The terminal has been vaporized. We hit so hard, and then it just continued to burn into ashes. We're good. Perfect. Daisy, Daisy. You sift through the wreckage of the terminal, examining microchips and circuit boards. What is this? Where does this machine come from? Not having enough answers, you bring the machine back to the blacksmith. This robot was built in the city of Kaldora. Really? How did you know that? The blacksmith throws you a broken memory chip. Made in Kaldora by T Machinist Industries is etched on the back. 
His methods of deduction are very, very... They are to be congratulated. Okay. Blacksmith, I've heard rumors about him. Some say he's brilliant. Others say he's in league with the Matron. You have to find this machinist if you want more answerisms, but Kaldora's a long ways off from here. They say it's filled with robots. If you want to go there, you'd better get started now. During the night, the pieces of the terminal reassemble themselves and sneak out of the blacksmith's front door. That's awkward. You haven't seen the last of me, says the terminal. Alright then, as you prepare for the journey ahead, you come across a disheveled, wide-eyed local. Help us. Help. You stop to listen, wondering what's wrong. Some, some crazy man is killing people. Harvesting them for organs. He feeds the scraps to some creature living in our town's monastery. That doesn't seem like a particularly plausible story. You inquire further. This crazy man calls himself a doctor. He showed up a few weeks ago and drove out the Brotherhood monks in the Great Monastery. He and his bandit henchmen have been cutting people up and selling their organs, then feeding the remains to a creature chained up in the monastery basement. You nod solemnly, wondering whether you should help these people. The path to the monastery involves a lengthy detour and you can't afford any distractions. The Brotherhood had a lot of valuables stashed in the monastery. That's gonna change my mind. The citizen, or the monk, didn't take any of it when they ran. If you rid us of the doctor, everything is yours. Kaldora can wait. You're damn right it can. Great job smashing up that terminal. I was worried a second there. Now, let me go ahead and show you around our camp. It's very Iron Age. I love the market. Hit the W key. Cynthia sells many different items. Check out Lysa's jugs at the tavern. Jugs, I'm thinking jugs of beer. Obviously, that's he meant jugs of beer. They're wonderfully fermented, see? Jugs of beer. If you're up for it, the temple is where you can burn things. Can burn things. Awesome. Catch up on your reading. The library Z is where you can explore books. If you're if you like to craft your own items, head over to the campground. Nice. Also, the Coliseum is where you can test your might and brutal combat, which kills us, by the way. We go in. That's a whole other way we can die. You can also reset your masteries, among other things, as well. Oh, and visit the keystones inside the Coliseum for randomized dungeons. Right, uh, uh oh, bumbling hooligans. Oh, boom, boom, boogaloons. Bumbling boogaloons. Bandits are incoming. Ready your weapons. I have a soul shard. And it's like orange and stuff. That That's great. That means good things. That means really good things. Bandits means bad things. But orangey things that I... It's good things. Okay, you have vaporized the terminal. That's good. We've already read all that. We have a lot of gold from that as well. And 220 experience, which is going to level us. Boom. Wait, that's an item job. We're still going to level. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we have a flail, which is a mace. And that's going to definitely take advantage of our walking stick. Because we actually have more masteries into our mace ability. So we're going to equip that. Excellent. Salvaging the old item. You have attained one scrap metal. Good. Level up. There we go. Vitality? I think maybe. Or do I do strength and intelligence? Mmm. Intelligence does what? It gives us more healing power. Strength also gives us plus one life on hit. Increases by one. Okay, you'd have to really crank up the strength to make that any well, any good. However, it does make me hit harder. With the, with the actual maces and such. So, mmm. Hit harder, sure. Let's crank it up. And then we're going to do what? Max HP? We're going to bring that up, or do we upgrade our armor? We're going to upgrade our max HP by 30. Now, Blunt Mastery, Mace Maul, we're going to put one into that again, and we are good. We have unlocked a new ability, Repulsed. Eye for an eye, deal damage right back to the enemy with this powerful move. Basically, if I get hit really, really hard with something, I can turn that damage, or a percentage of that damage, onto the enemy. That's amazing. Okay, when below 33%, HP's mana tide allows you to restore all of your mana. Oh, nice. A new ability. And that is how we start off on the right foot. Right? Because we died at level 2 last time playing insanity stuff. 
On this time, we're playing normal stuff, and we're actually going to get a bit more uh, content, I think. And I hope you enjoyed this fair bit of content. If there's anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. And I will see you again later. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Beryl Stone, signing out.